Hey friends, it's Julie. Welcome back to Rowan Co. Farms. Today's video, we're gonna take you on an update of our flower farm workspace renovation and our walk-in cooler renovation. So come along today as we tackle some more of the work. If you haven't seen the first part of the renovation, I'm gonna link that video right up above here. So go check that one out and then come back and watch this one. Hey everybody, it's Julie. Welcome back to Rowan Co. Farms. So I've been out here working in the workspace again for a couple hours today, not much. And I've gotten most of the ceilings painted, as you can see, like they're nice and trimmed in now. And I painted that, you can see, you almost can't see it, that wire that's up there, it was yellow. Um, I painted it black so you wouldn't see it as much. And it's looking pretty good, so. Just thought I'd update y'all on the progress. So, um, behind me, you can see the walk-in cooler. It's got plywood all the way around now. Doorways framed, everything's good there. Again, up here, okay, so I got two sections left. This section I haven't um, trimmed, you can see that. And then over here, I haven't done this section at all. So, I gotta, I gotta work on that. Um, this wire that you see, that's going to get pulled out completely, so that won't be there. All right, um, let me flip you guys around and I'll like show you a little bit more detail. Okay, so this is the walk-in cooler. We've got everything just framed in right now. That insulation back there will be coming out, so that won't stay, I think. And then in here... You can just see everything's been framed out. So this, this workspace is looking good. I still have painting to do on this wall over here. And like I said, a little bit more painting on the ceiling and I need to touch up some stain like up there. There was a, another board up there got moved. So anyway, I've got to work on some of that and then I'm going to work on my sink. I have two sinks that I can choose from, and I may go like do a little video of that and show you which two sinks I have and maybe get some opinions from y'all as to which sink I should put in here. One is more like cool looking, good for pictures, and one is going to be more utilitarian. So I don't know which one to, to pick. But yeah, progress is good right now. Still messy, but good. Hey everybody, it's Julie. Welcome back to Rowan Co. Farms. Just wanted to do a quick update on our walk-in cooler situation that we're working on. Um, so I'm inside the cooler now. My husband's back here. And so I'm gonna flip you around and I'm gonna show you what we have left to do in here. So on the outside of the cooler here, we have the plywood walls up. And you can see over here to the side, this, these are the foam insulation boards that are going to go inside. So if you look out here, you can see we've got the plywood all the way down. So all of that is done. This is the doorway here, of course. And then we've already started to fill in all of the cracks here with mastic just to stop any airflow and we're also using some spray foam insulation to fill in any cracks anywhere and that's what greg's working on now is just filling in all the cracks everywhere sorry about that light so over here where the window is, that's where the window air condition unit will go. And that's what will ultimately cool this space down. You can see we've got that mastic over here and we're just gonna keep, keep insulating. So after we do this part, the next step will be to add this foam board. So we are gonna be doing a layer, two of these together. So there'll be four inches of this foam board. And then on top of that, there'll be actually another like small quarter inch to a half inch piece of insulation that goes over that as well. I don't have that yet, but when I get it, I'll show you guys. 
So at one point we did have this insulation in the wall. We removed that because there's a chance that this could get wet and we don't want this kind of um, insulation to get wet in the wall and us not know it and then have a mold situation. So we've pulled all of that out and we'll be replacing it with this foam core board. So that's the status right now. So once we get that put up, I'm gonna have the video camera set up so you'll got, you guys will see all that, but I just wanted to give you a rundown of where we were with the project. you can see we've started our first layer of the foam board and once we get the first layer up then we will take a uh, aluminum tape and we will seal all of the joints where the foam board comes together. That's the outside of the cooler there. There's our doorway. We still have one small sheet to put up there, but it's minimal. But the first layer of insulation is in. It's looking really good. So we have all of the rest of our pieces of foam out here. We're actually missing a few. We took everything they had at the store the other day. So we're gonna need to buy three more pieces of that foam so we can put the second layer on. And it's a mess in here right now. We have these walls all have three coats on them now, and it looks like we may still need to do a fourth. I can see streaks up there. But it's slowly but surely coming along. I know I've been saying that, but the main work has been done on the walk-in cooler here, and I just wanted you guys to see the progress. So I skipped ahead a little bit. We've already added the second layer of foam to the walls. And now my husband is adding the uh, bubble wrap layer. That's the silver uh, wrap that's going around the entire room. And then the last thing will be to add the plywood to the walls.
we're both getting a little work in here. You can see him putting the wrap on the ceilings and I'm outside staining the walls. Hey friends, it's Julie. Welcome back to Rowan Co. Farms. I was gonna give you a quick update on the walk-in cooler and our workspace renovation for the flower farm. We have been working away diligently. We are not finished yet, but we have made it a long way in our, in our work. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but I'm gonna show you real quick what we've done. So this is the entrance to the walk-in cooler. We have stained the walls here on the outside and then in the cooler we have added all the layers of the foam board then we covered it with this silver what we call bubble wrap but it's just another layer of insulation oh and we're about to change out this light that's why the lights are out <laughs> and then um, we've just started adding the last layer which is the plywood that's going to go up over all of the insulation so that is where we are kind of come in here sorry it's dark like i said he just killed the light i was trying to do it before he killed the light um he's going to fix this up here so that we can put the plywood up so this has to have a little bit of an adjustment to it and that is what the inside of the cooler looks right like now so we are almost done with the construction part. And then we will add in the cool bot and the window unit and the door and all that. So out here, this area, the only thing major that's been updated in this area since the last video I did was that I've stained this wall here. And I ran out of stain before I got finished. So I'm gonna go get some more stain this week. And then the rest of the area, still the same. We've touched up the paint, but we still have not installed the plumbing or the rest of the electrical stuff yet, but we're getting there. Just wanted to give you guys an update. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us for this video, this update on all of the things that have been happening in our walk-in cooler and our workspace for the flower farm. And be sure to stay tuned for the next video. It'll be a few more weeks, but as we continue to progress through this project, I'm gonna make sure I bring you all the footage and all the things that we're doing to show you how we're turning this space into a brand new workspace for our brand new flower farm. All right, guys, I'll see you next time here at Rowan Co. Farms.